So this is a quick tutorial of how to um, get your cracked face. So the first thing that I've done is I have saved a portrait from the computer as a JPEG um, from the internet and I've looked at some different cracks um, and I've saved them as well. So they are both um, available if you want to use mine. So then you're going to go to Pixlr um, and it's a little bit like Photoshop I guess but it's a free online version. Um, and then once you're on it, you just need to scroll down and the Pixlr that we want is the Pixlr E. Okay, so um, I'm gonna create a new one um, and you can title it if you want, Cracked Face. Um, and then I am going to just open it and create. So this here is my screen. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to um, insert my picture. So I'm gonna to go to Layer, and then I'm going to go to add image as layer and the first picture that I'm going to do is I'm going to find my portrait that I'd already saved um, which is here and I'm going to open my portrait up I'm going to enlarge it so that it fills my screen obviously if you're not doing a landscape portrait and you're doing another one your canvas size at the start will be different but to start me off this is my portrait and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer again and then I'm going to go to add images layer and I'm going to find this time my cracks. So I've saved that as a JPEG as well. Oops, sorry, excuse me. So I'm going to open up my cracks here. And as you can see, um, it's now on top of the face. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change the opacity of it so that I can see where I'm actually placing it. So I'm going to make it a little bit lighter um, so that I can see where it is going to be on the face. So I'm just going to move it about where I think it will look good. I quite like that. It might be that I need to do a couple of different ones because um, I think any bigger and it's going to look strange. So I'm going to do that. Once I've done and I'm happy with the placement, I'm just going to put the opacity straight back up to 100. Um, and then I'm going to go to the blending mode here and I'm going to find multiply. So I'm going to click on multiply here and then I've got these um, cracks all over my face. So if I like that, I'd save it. Um, and if here as you can see i can still see slight outlines which i don't want so i'm just going to get my eraser tool make sure that you're on the right um the cracked ones and i'm just actually just going to play about so i'm just going to change the opacity of my eraser so that it blends a little bit more make sure that my brush has got a nice soft edge so that it blends again um, and then i'm just going to change the size so it doesn't take me as long and I'm going to make it slightly bigger. So I'm just going to start to erase the harsh edge that I've got here. Okay, if there's any bits of the cracks that you don't actually like or you don't think it works, like maybe them bits on the lips, then I can just start to delete that as well. Okay, so another thing that I might do is I might duplicate the layer um, or I might add another crack. So it might be that I go to layer, add image as layer again. Um, find my cracks wherever they may be. There we go. Uh, and literally, I'm just going to repeat the process. So, I'm going to go to the um, free transform, edit free transform. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to look at the opacity so I can place it. Um, this time, I might have it a little bit bigger. I quite like that. Um, so that's my opacity and then I'm going to again put my opacity back up to 100, go to my blending mode and I'm going to go to multiply. Again I'm going to get my eraser tool to erase any outlines that I don't like. Um, but that is essentially how you will add cracks to a portrait. If you want to kind of um, contour it a little bit. You can add dark um, bits and light bits. You can um, distort bits. You can liquefy them. Um, so you can play about with, with how it looks. But I'm quite happy with how that looks at the moment. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Save. And when I save it, I'm just going to make sure that I save it as a JPEG file.
um, to my computer. And that's it.